Mr. FTHS, the office, very busy night, it's night of, gotta figure out who's gonna win Mr. FTHS, who's gonna have the best talent, I gotta go. All right, who do you guys think is gonna win Mr. FTHS tonight? I think NASA's gonna win. Really? I think Matt Madonna's probably gonna win. Well, why don't you think NASA's gonna win? Matt Madonna literally won his superlative for most school spirited. How do you not think he's gonna win? Well, me and NASA both won most adored by parents, and I have his brother with me. <laughs> well, I do love the NASA's, but I'm Matt's escort, so Team Madonna all the way. Whatever. We'll find out tonight. Stay <laughs> tuned. Who do you think should be Mr. FTHS? Well, I think I should be Mr. FTHS. No, 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 Taurus, who do you think should be Mr. FTHS? It's not me? No, no it's not you. Oh. Well, in that case, <laughs> um, who do I think should be Mr. FTHS? I don't know. There's a couple um, dark horses out there. I like, uh, I think Brandon might be a, a good choice. But N Nick Nasso is a kid that I like very much. He's very Taurus-like as well, so... I don't know. I think between those two. What do you think it takes to be Mr. FTHS? I like to think of it like a meal. So maybe like a smattering of Patterson, a little sprinkling of Herbert, a smidgen of Mal, side of Whitford, all on a Torres like place. Perfect, Mr. FTHS. I'm gonna interview. This is a big deal. They're gonna ask me my opinion. Oh. So you gotta keep it on the down low. Oh, <laughs> All right, go ahead. Mr. Dohan, who do you think is gonna win Mr. FTHS? When I think about it, I could think about Pat, I could think about Matt Madonna, I could think about Justin Davis, I could think about Connor P. I could think about Brian Lavelle, I could think about Evan Savino. But when I really think about it, I think it's gonna be Nikki Shulman because he's not any of those people. And it takes talent, though. It takes talent to be Mr. FTHS, and I'm not sure we have any of that here. So I'm not quite sure. It's anybody's game. Who do you think should be the next Mr. FTHS? Uh, I... <laughs> uh, 100% Madonna. And it's not even just because he's Completely <laughs> staring out the door, <laughs> but I have to say, uh, I can always rely on Matt for many years now to always make me laugh <laughs> and brighten my day. And then, what do you think it takes to be Mr. FTHS? You have to have personality. You have to be positive. Um, you have to be funny. I think a sense of humor really helps. Um, and of course, you have to have talent. Who do you think is going to win Mr. FTHS? Well, it's got to be someone with a lot of personality and some skills, some talent, but it can't be Brian LaBelle. Crash you. Absolutely not. That can't happen. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you think it takes to be Mr. FTHS? I think somebody with a good personality, somebody who's well-behaved in class, um, doesn't wander the halls a lot, um, somebody who enjoys being a student here at Freehold Township and takes a lot of pride in the school. And who would you like to see win? I'm going to have to say Matt Madonna. <laughs> Since I bought his fan shirt. That's the only reason? He's just a good kid. <laughs> what do you think it takes to be Mr. FTHS? It takes charisma. It takes that extra factor that no one else has. Who do you think should be the next Mr. Yes. FTHS? I think without a doubt, Justice, Justin Davis will be the winner. Who do you think has improved the most with the dance? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys both do the dance. Who do you think improved the most? Definitely Frank. He, he really learned how to throw it back over the few practices that we've had. I'm impressed. Yeah. Who do you guys think has had the dance down since day one? Give me your top three. Definitely Justin, Matt Madonna, 
and Papua Mayo. Okay. Right. My dance. What, what, what is your profession? Arg. <laughs> That side needs a lot of help. Not the girl Madonna, not like the singer, the man Madonna. Out together, oh my god. Do this. I can't, I can't do this anymore. 7 a.m. for this? Renegade! Uh, oh my god, it's too bad. Wait, do they not have information for this? As Victoria sits out and watches the beautiful fields of Freehold Township, she ponders, who will be the next Mr. FTHS? What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? Um, I think you have to be Frank. All right. I think you have to be Matt then. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's not how it works. Do you not see him? But Frank's the tank. The tank. Um, I think Frank Figueroa. All right, and what do you think it takes to be Mr. FTHS? I think it takes fashion and like to be like a farmer, you know, and Frank has all those qualities. Who do you think should be the next Mr. FTHS? Frank. Frank. And why do you think he should be the next? Because he's funny. Yeah. Who do you think should be the next Mr. FTHS? Frank. And why? Just because he's funny. Oh. Yeah. Who do you think should win Mr. FTHS? Um, Matt Madonna. Because he's right there. Oh my gosh, he's so Are you gonna come in? Excuse me. Ma'am, we're filming right now? Who do you want to win the next Mr. FTHS? What? It's Who do you guys think is gonna win Mr. FTHS? I think Nick Nasso is gonna win. Brian Lavello. Why do you think you should be Mr. FTHS? Honestly, since the moment I was born, I've had this weird feeling in the back of my head, like, Mr. FTHS. Like, I kept hearing this all this time. And then I finally came to Frio Township, I heard about this competition, and I was like, wow, that's what I've been hearing all these years. This is what I have to win. So I'm determined, I've been practicing, been honing my skills, my talents, my humor, my flow. I think it's just all gonna come together on the night of. What would you do if you won Mr. FTHS? So if I won, the first thing I'd do is I'd just stare at the crowd, and I'd really take in the moment it'd be probably one of the biggest moments of my life probably changed my life honestly and i'd take that crown i'd stare at a few seconds and i'd put it on my head and say this this is what i was put on this earth for and it would be the greatest night of my life 
Hey Frank. Oh, what's up? How's it going? Uh, why do you think you should be Mr. FTHS? I think I should be Mr. FTHS because I'm bringing a lot to the table. You know, me and Brian LaBelle have big talent coming up. You know, big things planned. And it's going to be a great night. I'm going to try to win. We'll see what happens. What would you do if you won? If I won, I'd probably go to Disney, you know. Party it up with Patty Mahomes. Uh, probably take my mom out to dinner. Aww. Um, who do you think your biggest competition is? Biggest competition? I want to say Kyle Check it. I'm just saying, you know, his talent's really good, and I think he's a dark horse for Mr. Fuel and Township. So I would have to dump it into Kyle Check it. Yeah. All right. How did you prepare for Mr. FTHS? Honestly, I was thinking to myself, like, how can I get creative? So I just sat in the dark room for three hours listening to Lil Wayne, and honestly, I came out, I was inspired, and I'm I'm ready to take it home. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> How are you preparing for Mr. FTHS? Well, to start off, I've been sleeping a lot after school. I'll you know, get my rest. Then waking up at 4 a.m., going to MJT, running the woods, trying to bring out my inner warrior, trying to get ready for the, uh, the big fight. Who do you think your biggest competition is? I think my biggest competition is Joel Maragato. You know, he's my future roommate, classmate, teammate, and everything. So we're fighting for bragging rights in college about being Mr. FTHS. What does it take to be the next Mr. FTHS? Well, to be Mr. FTHS, it takes hard work, great determination, and rescue speeches.